It seems like senior Jenna Hay is involved in a little bit of everything at Texas Tech University. From playing the clarinet in the going band from Raiderland, being in the MMA club, practicing with the ultimate frisbee team, and finally being a member of the triathlon team. I traveled to Dallas last November to compete in the long course duathlon national championships. And it was kind of last minute. I decided the day before to go and race in this, uh, in this championship. So I took a Greyhound bus overnight. I got there at 6 a.m., unpacked my bike, and I competed in the race. I ended up getting first in my age group. In August, she will face her hardest race yet in the mountains of Switzerland. I received an email saying that I received a spot to go to Switzerland and compete in world championships. I'm going to race in what is called the Powerman Zofingen Duathlon, which is apparently the hardest duathlon in the world. The Powerman Duathlon consists of a six mile run, which isn't that bad, and then it tra transitions into a 93 mile bike ride and then it, go, it finishes off with a nice, gentle 18-mile run. She became interested in long course racing while being a whitewater river guide in West Virginia, where she entered her first triathlon. It was actually a run, bike, kayak, and so it wasn't even really a true triathlon. Okay. But, but you know, I, I showed up with a great attitude, and I paddled, and I biked, and I ran, and I ended up getting third in my age group. And, you know, it was a weird triathlon, but as soon as I placed, I got the bug. So when I came back to school that semester, I immediately joined the triathlon team and started training. Training for an event where she will be a member of Team USA at one of the most elite athletic competitions in the world. Team USA, basically what that means is that I'll be wearing Team USA uniform, I'll be traveling uh, with other Team USA members. It just, it's really cool because anyone in all the media, all the teams that see me there are going to know that I'm here on behalf of the United States, which is just a huge honor. I can't, I can't describe how excited I am about that. Though West Texas isn't the most ideal place to train for a course in the mountains, Jenna has used it to her advantage. And I bike anywhere from four to five hours a day or every other day. And then when I'm not biking, I try and go on runs before and after the bike so I can get used to that rubbery feeling in your legs yeah. right before and after. But uh, mostly I'm going to be getting used to the heat because it's going to be in the middle of the day that I'm doing all of this. Yeah. So element training. With a summer internship in Washington, D.C. and upcoming graduation, why would Jenna tackle this large feat? I decided to do the Powerman Duathlon because like, I'm young, I'm not tied down to anything, and I've already been able to push myself so far in triathlons and duathlons. I feel like this is the next step. I think I can do it. I'm really looking forward to the Swiss chocolate that I can eat after the race. But race-wise, I'm looking forward to meeting athletes that you know, are from other countries. Like how often am I going to get to do that? That's so cool. My goal in going to the Power and Duathlon, you know, I want to represent the United States well, so I want to finish with my head held high and with a smile on my face. This is Lacey Nobles for Texas Tech Today.